Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a really effective at home DIY face mask slash scrub which will really help to detoxify your skin and if done regularly it can help eliminate acne, skin discolorations and scars. These ingredients are so good for your skin and of course it's 100% natural and chemical free. I hope that you guys enjoy and find this helpful and let's get started. So the first thing you'll need is some Himalayan crystal salt, which is the best form of salt you can get because it contains the full spectrum of 84 minerals and trace elements. It is unrefined, unprocessed, raw salt, and because of this, it is one of the most effective and inexpensive treatments for any skin infection. It works on the skin by literally drawing out the toxins. You could also add this Himalayan salt to a face toner or in a bath, and it's very detoxifying for your skin. It's so beneficial that some people also add this salt to their drinking water, and it helps to eliminate harmful bacteria and toxins from your body, so it's just a really good form of salt. And the next ingredient you will need is some raw honey and you want to make sure that it's raw and unpasteurized so that it still contains all the goodness and those healthy enzymes. It contains a lot of antioxidants and has antiseptic and antimicrobial properties plus it's also anti-inflammatory so it's perfect for people with acne or sensitive skin. It also has the ability to absorb and retain moisture on the skin so it keeps your skin very hydrated and supple. And the third ingredient you will need is some apple cider vinegar and you want to make sure that it's organic, unfiltered and unpasteurized. So it looks a little bit cloudy and this is also sometimes called the mother and this is the part that contains all those healthy enzymes and nutrients. Apple cider vinegar is so beneficial to your whole body, you can use it for detoxing, but it's especially beneficial for your skin. It acts like an antiseptic and it also helps to restore the natural pH of your skin. I've also been using apple cider vinegar as a face toner and as a hair conditioner by diluting it first with some filtered water. And it makes my skin and hair feel so amazing and I love that I'm just completely cutting out so many chemicals from my beauty routine just by using this product. But I will have more information on that in upcoming videos. Okay, so now it's time to whip up our little face mask. So take a little glass bowl and measure off approximately one teaspoon of honey to one teaspoon of Himalayan salt and about half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And of course, this is also about your personal preference. If you want your face mask to be more exfoliating, then you add a bit more salt. And if you want it to be a bit more soothing, then add more honey. Before applying your face mask, you just want to make sure you have super clean hands and that your face is free from any makeup or moisturizers and that your hair is pulled back. And then just go ahead and apply your face mask. And you want to be really gentle whenever you're exfoliating your skin with whatever product. Try avoiding placing too much pressure on your face and instead focus more on moving the product around in small circles all over your face. This type of circular massage and exfoliation is really good for helping to promote blood flow and stimulate collagen production in the skin. These ingredients are so beneficial for problematic skin types without being too harsh on the face and of course without including any harmful chemicals. And I would recommend doing this about twice a week and then letting it really sit on your skin for a few minutes before washing it off. And it's also nice at this point to gently massage your face. It helps to relieve a lot of the tension that we hold in our face, especially around the jaw and the forehead area. And I also like to take some of the scrub and gently exfoliate around my lips just to remove any dead skin cells. And then finally, before washing it off, I also do a little bit underneath my eyebrows. This leaves my skin feeling so soft and smooth, kind of like really soft butter almost, and it just feels really nice and clean. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative and helpful and hopefully this will work really well for you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon.